Today I'm going to take a journey back 55 years to when I was a cadet photographer on the Age newspaper in Melbourne, that's Melbourne, Australia, and on the Age every photographer was issued with a speed graphic, like this one except that mine wasn't quite as new as this because I was only a cadet, and we covered almost all assignments with one of these. It's a surprisingly flexible camera. So firstly today I'm going to show you how you'd take a technically straightforward photo like this one of Squeaky the Otter that my friends love to laugh about. Okay what you do is you have a Graphmatic with six shots in it. Goes in the back of the camera. Lock it in place. You Choose a suitable shutter speed and aperture from experience, uh, no light meters were issued, and cock the shutter. You draw the slide, you take your glasses off because they do rather get in the way, you focus using the rangefinder, you choose the correct parallax on the eye level viewfinder and with everything ready to go. There's one shot. Check the focus again. That's okay. And there's another shot. All done. Now I'll show you in a bit more detail. The Graphmatic. It's got film in it, so I can't open it up and show you. Yes, I can, because it's actually empty. The film is held in these six septums, and there's an ingenious mechanism to enable the front one to be swapped to the back all the time. Here, a bit hard to see, but there is the, the ground glass, and it slides in. The graphmatic slides in behind the ground glass. So it just slides straight in there. Bit of a noise, but uh, and then it gets locked into place. so that it can't come out. If I pull the slide, that moves the first sheet of film to the front, that is to say closest to the lens. And if I squeeze that and then pull, the compartment comes out and the film is now at the back. The majority of photos taken with the speed graphic would be using flash for a number of reasons. Uh, one is that photos will reproduce in the paper better. Also there might obviously not be enough light to get uh, sufficient exposure on the poor old speed graphic. Now you'll, I've put a modern flash onto my speed graphic just so that I can take photos. The old ones, old the electronic flashes of course are long gone. Uh, we didn't use flash bulbs. That's uh, a good 10 to 15 years earlier back in Ouija's days in New York which I'm sure you've seen. We were fortunate enough not to didn't have to burn our fingers on used flash bulbs when you're taking them out. Okay, so nothing much to it really. You work out what distance you're taking the photo, 
you choose an aperture that is correct for that and with flash synchronization on the lens sorry flash synchronization on the shutter you're pretty much fixed up I'll take one shot just to show that it works as well as the normal between lens shutter the speed graphic also has a focal plane shutter that runs down through just in front of the film. The reason for the name speed graphic is because that the focal plane shutter can go up to one thousandth of a second and that's very useful for sports photography like uh, tennis, Australian rules football, horse racing and you would use a thousandth of a second for all of those. The shutter itself, let's have a look at that now. By removing the ground glass I'll put that aside because I'll need it later. I can then wind the key on the side there and you probably saw the slit in the line went past where the film will be and that's the exposure with the slit uh, whizzing past the film. Now my poor old speed graphic isn't able to reach a thousandth of a second or even close to it nowadays but it doesn't matter very much because it'll look the same anyway. Next, most of the sports that I mentioned, in fact almost all, this, all sports, you need something of a, a long focus lens. Now, um, at the age we would have used uh, a telephoto lens of some description. The one that I have here is actually a long focus lens. It's, uh, it's a 10 inch Thornton Picard and it would take perfectly good photographs. In fact it does. You take off the normal 127mm lens, uh, clip the, the long focus one in place take the lens panel forward, lock it in place and as it happens if you're using a long focus lens the wire sports viewfinder will work well enough given that uh, you can never expect to fill the frame exactly with uh, a sports shot. You need to work out where the focus point will be. A useful trick I was taught with horse racing is that you walk out onto the track before the race obviously and stand where the horses are going to be when you take the shot, you can tell by their hoof prints from the previous race. You then focus on the fence where you will be, lock the focus and then uh, go back to the fence and wait until they pass. That way you uh, have the correct focusing distance. The sequence of events for taking a shot, okay the, the focus has been set, don't have to worry about that anymore. Graphmatic goes into the back of the camera as before, locked in place. Now here's where you get the sequence of events right. You, you wind up the shutter. Draw the slide and as they pass take the shot. 
you then drop the film to the back of the graphmatic, then wind up the shutter again, then draw the slide again. If you happened in a moment of excitement to wind the shutter up over the film of the previous shot, which was the greatest one you ever took, you won't have it anymore.